Okay, here I am in neutral torso alignment, which creates neutral joint alignment. So I have my ear, shoulder, elbow, hip, knee, ankle, all in pretty much a straight line. So it's a, that's considered really good alignment, good posture. It would be really hard to move me off center from there. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to offset the pelvis. There we go. So now my pelvis is at an angle. So with the pelvis being off center, notice how the abdominal wall protrudes out. So we went through all of that in class. And ideally you wanna use your lower ab to level that pelvis out, but this time I'm actually gonna use my lower back and glute muscles. And in class we talked about that being a traditional pelvic tilt. I want you to watch real close what happens to my sternum, my rib cage here, and also what happens to my knee. Ready? And there is the pelvic tilt. So now my knee is too flexed. It's throwing the weight back out over the balls of my feet. My chest is just dropped down. You can see that collapse right in there. So let's look at the difference again. And I also got shorter. So I begin with the offset pelvis. I'm going to level it out right there. And what it does is just throws me completely off center in the opposite direction. Collapse rib cage, glutes tucked, throws my knee off of that center line. So you want to make sure that when you are learning to level your pelvis, whether seated or standing, that you're using the lower abdominal muscle to level the pelvis out. 